Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. In this list we will see a very interesting argument, the medium range surface to air missiles or SAM. Of course on the channel you can find also more lists like this one, for example the long range surface to air missiles or the anti-ballistic missiles or anti-satellite weapons. So if you want to check also them to have a better view about this kind of weapons. But let's start with this one and see you at the end with the final considerations. This list will start with the Akash from India. It's being produced from 2005 and it was introduced in 2009 with the latest upgrade, the Akash MK2, introduced in 2019. The launching platform can be both wheeled, 8x8 or tracked. It has three launching rails, while the deployment time is 10 minutes. For the missile we have a weight of 720 kg with a warhead of 60 kg that can be high explosive or fragmentation. It can reach a speed of 3.5 Mach and a range of 30 or 35 km. The maximum flight altitude is 18,000 meters and for the power plant we can find a two stage, one is a solid booster and the other one is a ramjet motor. It can detect a maximum of 64 targets at a maximum distance of 100 km. The target can have a maximum speed of Mach 8 to be intercepted and it can also track 40 targets and gauge 4 of them simultaneously. At the ninth spot we can find the Type 03 Chusem from Japan. It's being produced from 2000 and it was introduced in 2003. The launching platform is a wheeled 8x8 truck with 6 launching tubes. The deployment time is 7 minutes. For the missile we have a weight of 570 kg with a warhead of 73 kg high explosive. The maximum speed is 2.5 Mach and the range goes from 10 to more than 50 km. The maximum flight altitude is 10,000 meters and for the engine we have a single stage solid propellant rocket. It can intercept targets at a maximum distance of 100 kilometers and a maximum speed of 8.3 Mach. It can detect simultaneously 100 targets and track and engage 12 of them. At the 8th spot we have the NASAMS-2 from Norway. It's being produced from 1995 and introduced in 1998. The latest upgrade with the newer missile was introduced in 2007. The launching platform can be a truck wheeled 8x8 or 6x6. It has 6 launching tubes and the deployment time is 7 minutes. For the missile we have a weight of 150 kg with a warhead of 20 kg that can be high explosive or fragmentation. The Maximum speed is Mach 4 with a range between 1.5 km up to more than 90 km. The maximum flight altitude is 14,000 meters and for the engine we have a single stage solid fuel rocket motor. It can intercept targets at a maximum distance of 180 km with a maximum speed of Mach 8. It can simultaneously detect 120 targets, track 72 of them and engage 12 of them. At the 7th spot we can find the Barak 8 from India and Israel. It's being produced from 2017 and it was introduced in 2019, just the last year, so it's very new. The launching platform can be a truck, wheeled 8x8 or ship. It has 8 launching tubes and the deployment time is 7 minutes, like the one before. For the missile we have a weight of 275 kg with a warhead of 60 kg high explosive. The maximum speed is Mach 2, it has a range between 0.5 km up to 95 km. The flight altitude is 16,000 meters and for the engine we have a two-stage smokeless pulsed rocket motor. It can intercept targets at a maximum distance of 250 km at a maximum speed of 8.5 Mach. It can simultaneously detect 200 targets, track 100 of them and engage 16 of them. At the 6th spot we can find the 9K37 M3 Buck from the Soviet Union. It's being produced from 1970 and introduced in 1979. So yes, it's quite old, but the latest upgrade with the newer chassis and the missile was introduced in 2016. The launching platform is a tracked vehicle and it has 4 launching rails, while the deployment time is only 5 minutes. For the missile we have a weight of 710 kg with a warhead 
of 180 kg that can be high explosive or fragmentation. The maximum speed is 4.5 Mach. It can reach a, a range between 2.5 up to 70 km. The flight altitude is 35,000 meters. And for the engine, we have a, a single stage solid propellant rocket. It can intercept targets at a maximum distance of 150 km at a maximum speed of 8.7 Mach. Moreover, it can simultaneously detect 150 targets, track 100 of them and engage 36 of them. And now we start the top 5 with the HQ-9 from China. It's been produced from 1990 and introduced in 1997. The latest upgrade, the HQ-29, was introduced in 2015. The launching platform can be uh, a wheeled truck 8x8 or ship. It has 4 launching tubes and the deployment time is only 5 minutes also for this one. For the missile we have a weight of 1300 kg with a warhead of 180 kg. High explosive. It can reach a speed of 4.2 Mach, a range between 10 and 200 km, so very far, and a flight altitude of 30,000 meters. For the engine we have a two-stage solid propellant rocket and it can intercept targets at a maximum distance of 300 km and a maximum speed of 8.4 Mach. It can simultaneously detect 200 targets, track 72 of them and engage 32 of them. At the fourth spot, we have the MIM 104F Patriot from United States. It's been produced from 1976 and it was introduced in 1984. Also, this one seems pretty old, but the latest upgrade with the latest missile was introduced in 2016. The launching platform is a wheeled 8x8 semi trailer. It has 16 launching tubes with a deployment time of 15 minutes. It's a quite longer time than the one before, but remember there are 16 launching tubes, so it can fire more missiles also if it needs more time to load them. For the missile we have a weight of 700 kg and a warhead of 90 kg high explosive. It can reach a maximum speed of 4.1 Mach and a range between 20 to 180 km. The flight altitude is 27,000 meters and for the engine we have a dual pulse solid propellant rocket. It can intercept targets at a maximum distance of 200 km and a maximum speed of 8.2 Mach. Moreover it can simultaneously detect Detect 200 targets, track 100 of them and engage 9 of them. And we started the top 3 with the Sam PT from France and Italy. It's been produced from 2003 and it was introduced in 2010. The latest upgrade with the latest missile, the Acer 30 Block 1 NT or new technology was introduced in 2019. The launching platform can be a wheeled 8x8 or ship. It has 8 launching tubes and the deployment time is only 5 minutes. For the missile we have a weight of 450 kg with a warhead of only 15 kg but this one is by direct force or direct impact. It can reach a maximum speed of 4.5 Mach, a range between 20 and up to 150 km, a flight altitude of 25,000 meters, and for the engine we have a two-stage solid propellant rocket. It can intercept targets at a maximum distance of 200 km and a maximum speed of 8.1 Mach. Moreover, it can simultaneously detect 250 targets, track 100 of them and engage 16 of them. At the second spot we have the David Sling by Israel and the United States. It's being produced from 2010 and introduced in 2017, so also this one is very new. The launching platform can be a wheeled 8x8 semi-trailer or ship. It has 12 launching tubes and the deployment time is 7 minutes. For the missile we have a weight of 700 kg and a warhead by direct force or direct impact. It can reach a maximum speed of 7.5 Mach. It's very very fast, with a range between 40 and up to 300 km. The flight altitude is 50,000 meters and for the engine we have a two-stage multipulse solid rocket. It can intercept targets at a maximum distance of 300 km and a maximum speed of 8.9 Mach. Moreover, it can simultaneously detect 300 targets, track 100 of them and engage 24 of them. 
and we finally completed this list with the S400 Triumph from Russia. It's been produced from 2006 and introduced in 2007, with the latest upgrade the S500 that will be introduced in 2024, maybe, we still don't know exactly when. The launching platform is a wheeled 8x8, it has 4 launching tubes and the deployment time is 10 minutes. For the missile we have a weight of 1890 kg and a warhead of 180 kg direct force or direct impact type. It can reach a maximum speed of 6.9 Mach and a range between 40 and up to 400 km. The flight altitude is 185,000 meters, so it can even engage targets outside the atmosphere into space. For the engine we have a single stage solid propellant rocket. It can intercept targets at a maximum distance of 600 km and a maximum speed of Mach 40. Moreover, it can simultaneously detect 500 targets, track 300 of them and engage 80 of them. So the video as always finished here, I added a little bonus for you, the Krag, this is a very old machine but I think it looks so cool, still in use in some countries, I just wanted to add this one as a bonus uh, for you. So as I said the video is finished, for the final considerations actually I don't have so much to say, these are uh, medium range SAM, if you want to check also the very long range and anti-ballistic missile top 10s you can find them clicking in the right top corner or checking in the description of the video, moreover you find also playlists with all my military videos that you can watch as well if you want. Remember to leave a like if you liked this video and if you didn't like this video because maybe you don't agree with me let me know in the comments why not, where I'm wrong, so maybe next time we can have a discussion and I can improve my videos. And that's all, so see you next week with a new video, bye!